What's up guys? Welcome to episode 3 of the Ask Roman podcast. No, it's not a podcast, it's a Q&A. My wife is behind the camera again, reading the questions. I know last time some of you said that she was a little too quiet, so she's going to speak up this time. Don't worry. Yeah. And let's get straight to it. We, all, we have already done the German Q&A before this, it took over an hour. So I'm a little, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm heated up from all the thinking. But let's go ahead and get into the questions. Did you ever try higher fats diet? What's low and high for you? I have tried high, I have tried, let me, let me restart that one. So, my highest is one gram of fat per kilogram of body weight. That's my, my absolute highest. I don't like to go higher than that. I don't feel good. I get soft. My pumps don't increase. My training, my training stamina goes down. My digestion shuts down. It's, it's, it's fucked up. So I prefer anything lower than one gram per kilogram of body weight of dietary fat. And I have tried adding more fats, like I said, which for all the reasons I mentioned, doesn't work for me. And then my lowest is in the off season, a half a gram per kilogram of body weight. And then in contest, at the end of the diet, it might go even lower, but I make sure I supplement with essential fatty acids, and that has always worked for me. Do you have tricks when appetite starts to be limiting off season? Yeah, tricks is do a little bit of cardio in the morning on empty stomach. Now, first of all, when you wake up in the morning, drink a liter of water, make sure your digestion is well hydrated and you can use the restroom. Then do a little bit of a, just a, doesn't have to be intense, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just a great easy walk, get your blood sugar down again, and then you're ready to eat much. You can eat much, you know, you, you're gonna work up an appetite with that. Also don't eat foods that don't agree with you. So that no foods that bloat you, no foods that sit in your stomach heavily. For example, as a carb source, I would do like rice over oatmeal. Also potatoes is not a good choice because <clears throat> it's a lot of volume for the same amount of, uh, for the same amount of carbs. Post-workout, eat something that's easy to digestible, like a cereal with whey. Just make sure your food volume stays low and also make sure your food tastes good because food that tastes good digests faster, believe it or not. And another thing is do not drink while you're eating because it will dilute your stomach acids and it will make the food stay in your stomach for longer. Stop drinking liquids, of course liquids. <laughs> 20 minutes before and 20 minutes after your meals. Yeah, then you can take a couple of supplements like beta in HCL or digestive enzymes. And yeah, just make, just, yeah. The, I think eating foods that agree with you and with low volume is the most important thing. What makes you choose injectable D-bowl over oral? Do you find less appetite disruption? Exactly, that's it. It's, it's not as... Oh, it's not harsh on the stomach at all. And I also think it's quote-unquote healthier because the injectable version only has to go through the liver once. I think, I don't know exactly, while the, the pills have to go through the liver twice. 
Have you been working with Justin Compton since your hip surgery? No. I have worked with Justin for this year. He has helped. I've consulted with him. So my, my surgery, my second surgery was in February. My first surgery was December before that. And now it's so February of last year, of course. And during all of those months, I had him consulting me for three. And the rest I've done by myself. Did you use something to recover faster after the surgery? Yeah, obviously I used a lot of uh, over-the-counter supplements. Um, glucosamine. First of all, just they had to. I had to. I had to regrow bone tissue, and I had to regrow muscle tissue. So what I used was obviously collagen, UC2, glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM, lots of uh, calcium, citrate, also magnesium. I used Vob enzyme. That's a product of an enzyme product from Germany. I think you have it in the U.S. also as well. And I used a growth hormone, but only two I use a day. Deca Durabilin from the pharmacy, the good one, 150 milligrams a week, and I stayed on 250 milligrams of test a week. And then obviously good nutrition, protein, enough protein and all that shit. Vitamin C, you know those, that stuff. <clears throat> Tips on combating high blood pressure. Oh wait, he was probably asking for TB500 and BPC157. I didn't use that because I couldn't get any. So high blood pressure? Tips on combating high blood pressure. Uh, Don't get too heavy, too fast, you know, when you hold a lot of water, your blood pressure will rise. With that, keep your estrogen in check. If we really still have a problem, get on a blood pressure medication, get on a blood pressure medication for real. Uh, one of those tell me sartans or sartanes, or I don't know how you say it in English or um, an ACE inhibitor like lisinopril. Get on a blood pressure medication if you have high blood pressure. It will only help you. But don't get on a beta blocker, on a beta blocker don't, and don't do uh, diuretics. So get a tell me sartan, what's it, I don't know, like, like I said, or an ACE inhibitor. With perfect nutrition, what do you think, how beneficial is intra-supplementation for a netty? Very, very much so. I've done it. I've been doing intra-workout uh, nutrition since. I first heard of it in an issue of Flex in 2006. And it has, been, it has helped me greatly. And at that point I wasn't taking anything. So intra-workout nutrition thumbs up your, your 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 perfect nutrition will be even more perfect like that when do you use insulin did you ever use lantus never used lantus and i use it before and after training quick acting like humalog with a metabolism like yours do you still need t3 t4 end of prep to be bone shredded never use them any Do you have any trips to the U.S. planned? <laughs> yeah, the Olympia, when I've qualified. Your friendship with Urs, is there more? <laughs> no, there's absolutely no gay, no gay thing going on with Urs. We're just friends. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> What are your favorite exercises for back wide? So getting a wide back. Uh, okay, pullover machine, one that is 180 degrees, like the Nautilus one. 
and anything that hits the lats. So I pull down, medium grip, like the hammer strength pull down, I do it the underhand. Those are good ones. And I gotta be, I still gotta give it to pull-ups. If you are, if you, if you're good at doing pull-ups, you're gonna have a good back. Period. Concerning inflammation and joint support, turmeric and or ashwagandha, I currently take APEC with good effects, but want to be more serious about inflammation, etc. APEC. Okay, I don't know what a, I don't know what a pack is or a pack, but definitely takes um, the the turmeric, the curcumin. That's a good one. Make sure it's uh, either BCM ninety five or Nova Zol on an empty stomach in the morning. Doctor Scott Stevenson told me it works better for inflammation that way on an empty stomach in the morning. And then other than that, there's also, like I said, the Wob Enzyme product that's good for inflammation. And yeah, that's that. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Animal pack. Maybe it meant, I was talking about animal. Yeah. Animal, but that's, a, that's a vitamin product. It's not going to help you with inflammation. Have you ever been scared on the consequences of bodybuilding for later life? No. Your top three exercises for each body part. Oh, we've just done that in, in German, right? Yeah. So for, for, for calves, you need a seated one, a seated variation and a standing variation, or one with knee flexed and one with knee extended. For quads, I would say a hack squat, leg extension, and then a squat, the free weight barbell or Smith machine, something like that, or the pendulum. Then hamstrings, seated, lying, and a hip extension variation, like a stiff leg deadlift. Chest. Inc oh, in German, we forgot the chest. Mm -hmm. An incline press, like a dumbbell, barbell, or hammer strength machine, something like that. Then a fly, where you can overload the stretch position, and something where you can accentuate the contraction, like a cable crossover or a pack deck. Then for shoulders, just a side raise variation. Preferably with the cable where you can also overload the stretch Then any press It's a rear delt movement and for back. I like a pullover machine. Like I said a good one a pull down medium grip and a rowing vari variation for the lats It's kind of hard to say Because there's so many different parts of the back that I wouldn't want to limit myself to only three exercises. Dream car. Oh, I don't really have a dream car. I was doing dream car. No. I just want to have so much, I want to have enough money so I can buy any car that I want ever. Yeah. That's my dream. Why is Anava your favorite aura? It isn't, it's easy on the stomach doesn't make you hold a lot of water and it gives you strength and it builds muscle clean <laughs> um, he asked in German before do you eat ass ah so okay the same guy yes <laughs> um, did you always keep an eye on your health during your bodybuilding career no <laughs> Me and the girl doing so much, she calls me Roman. Of course. <laughs> It's good for you. Is there any images or art you need done for your YouTube or merch? I would 100% do it free. Ah, he wants to do the... He wants to do the YouTube videos? 
Ah, okay. Yeah, we can talk about that. But I don't know how, how I'm supposed to transfer the videos over to him. But I'm definitely, if there is someone who wants to help me with the video, the editing and all that shit, I'm down for it. Thanks. Just, just text me on Instagram or something like that. Cool. I'm a little tired, you know? Yeah. Can you, can you feel it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. But let's, we got six more, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead. Okay, more energy. Do you prefer a high protein or a high carb diet? Both. I'm high protein, high carb. You can read that down below. Uh, underneath all my videos, there's always my current nutrition listed. I'm high protein and high carbs and low fat. Best and worst part of having your own garage gym? Best part? I don't get bothered by any idiots. Machines are always never occupied. I have the whole place to myself. I can do whatever I want. I can grunt, scream, drop weights, not clean up after myself. <laughs> <laughs> and worst part? The neighbors. <laughs> We got idiot neighbors, but that has, doesn't have anything to do with the gym. Yes, smoking in the toilet. Yeah, we have a, we share, a, we share a, a uh, there is a room right next to ours. That's a toilet room and they smoke in there while they're taking a shit, I guess. And then the smoke comes beneath the door into our gym. But we already told them to stop doing that. And I think I finally scared them enough so they won't do it anymore. Because today, I saw them sitting outside smoking. Mm. So, yeah. And also, we're gonna, you just ordered, she just ordered a uh, smoke, smoke detector. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put that in there. And whenever they smoke, it fucking flares up. Deet, 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 deet. And that's gonna, supposed to scare them away also. Ever thinking of coming to Canada? Oh wait, so there, there is no worst part about it, right? Yeah. Okay, there is no bad part about having your own gym. Ever thinking of coming to Canada? Would love to meet you and shake your hand. Ah, uh, of course. Um, actually, before the... My first... My Canada trip was planned before the whole C-word situation started. Because I was going to stay at Ian's and do a couple shows, like uh, the Vancouver or something like that was it in that time. But that didn't happen because the world shut down. But I'm always, I would love to go to Canada and visit, but I don't have any plans yet. Maybe I'm going to do a Toronto Pro or Canada, Vancouver next year. What bands do you listen to? It depends very much on my mood while I'm training. It's, for example, I've just went through, uh, I've just gone through uh, Amon Amoth phase. That's a, a band, I think they're from Norway or something like that. They make metal. And sometimes I get a hip, I got a, I got a, a gangster rap phase where I listen to like Dr. Dre and Eminem and, and such, exhibit. So it, it depends. Sometimes I go through a, a creed phase, you know, <laughs> where I'm a little bit more melancholic. <laughs> so there's no set type of bands I'm listening to. Only pain in your hip before surgery. I've dysplasia too. Pain is mainly in knees and lower back. Yeah, that's how it started for me. I had knee pain. I couldn't figure out why I have knee pain. It was then I got uh, I got a lower back pain, and I always thought it was my SI joint. So I went to the chiropractor like at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, three times a week to get my SI joint adjusted. It didn't fucking help. And then my hip pain really started because it got gradually got worse. And then I realized, well, my hip is busted. It's not my knee, it's not my SI joint, it's not my back, it's my hip. 
that has been the problem. And now that I've up, that everything is um, has been operated and optimized, I don't have any knee pain. I don't have any lower back pain anymore. So the hip is the and also my grandfather he had hip replacements also. And for the first couple of months before I think almost a year before they figured out that his hip is 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 fucked up they were always giving him injections into the lower back for the 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 it's called in germany it's called ischias nerve mm -hmm. the, the ischias nerve that goes down your spine down your leg and into your into your heel yeah google it what's it called ischias nerve Sciatic. Yeah. Oh, so all the doctors that all the doctors thought he had sciatic sciatic nerve pain, and he got injections to calm it down. That nothing helped, and then it also turned out that it was his hip. So if you have the same problem, you might want to get an MRI on your hip. Favorite posing routine. Huh. <sighs> I like the, of course, everyone has to love the routine of Kai Green, where he does, where he poses to Dirty Diana. And then another one, Kevin Levroni, 2001 Olympia. That's a good routine. And I'm sure there are numerous other ones. Ah, Sean Ray has a couple of great routines. Yeah. But I think the Levroni 2001 at the Olympia and the Kai Green Dirty Diana routine. Whoa! Schnauze. <laughs> um, the last question. Any recent thoughts on when your next show will be? Ah, I already said it on the Fuad Abiat podcast. We're going to do the show in Italy, Yamamoto Grand Prix, I think it's called on September 11th and then we'll take it from there that was the last question mm -hmm. okay guys thanks for tuning in again please hit the subscribe hit the like and activate the bell because we got to get to 30,000 followers all right then for myself and my wife thanks for watching see you on the next one